Hey guys, what's up? This is Ben. Uh, I'm still training for my half marathon using the No Meat Athlete Half Marathon Roadmap. This week is week two. Uh, I guess I kind of started it kind of funky. I kind of just did a half a week one, and then now I'm on week two. So I did a few new things this week I've never done before. I've always just kind of ran whatever. This week I did a uh, interval run, which is where you run uh, three minutes at a fast pace, one minute at a slow pace, three minutes at a fast pace, one minute at a slow pace for like six times in a row. Uh, so you kind of like, it's not like sprinting, but you run pretty fast and you run at these intervals. That was something that, that wore me out good, uh, but it was kind of fun. So I'm looking forward to doing more of those. Uh, I also did a tempo run, which was, oh, it was painful. It's basically you run two miles, like, at, you know, top speed, not sprinting, but as fast as you can. And then you run the rest of the run at a normal speed, but that wears you out like hell. Um, so, uh, today I had my long run, did five miles, but it ended up being four mile run, one mile walk. I got just bonked at the end. Um, this whole running in hundred degree weather thing just ain't working for me. I tried to get up early to run this morning, but didn't end up getting out the door till 10. So um, by the time I got out there, it was probably like hundred degrees or in the nineties, maybe a hundred by the time I finished. And, uh, it's just brutal. Um, I, you know, I think there's some advantage to running in high heat. Obviously, it'll be, you know, easier in October, November when I'm at my races and won't be as hot out, but for now, it's just hard. So I got to either work on getting up early or work uh, running at night. I had one night run this week, did my uh, interval run at night, which was pretty fun, but then I find it hard to sleep. So um, if I want to beat this heat, I got to start to get up earlier. Um, so after my run, I made a smoothie. Um, this bad boy here is filled at the top, but it's uh, seven mangoes, a handful of pineapple chunks, juice of two limes, and um, and uh, like two tablespoons of flaxseed uh, for omega threes. So I find that uh, the flaxseed, the omega three fatty acids, really help me with the recovery. Um, so I got a big strength training workout, slow burn stuff tomorrow. So. Uh, got to be fresh for it but this thing is just like ah this world's sweet and delicious like mangoes are just like peak of the season right now I've been eating them like crazy this stuff is just like ah, amazingly good just so good so uh I've been uh trying to get back into the raw thing I ate a lot better this week than last week. I had like two full raw days, but, you know, I mean, mostly raw. Uh, yesterday, I think I had five cookies. I mean, I had a burrito this week and some stir fry, so. Um, not beating myself up over it. I'm eating, you know, 90% raw. Would like to get back to 100, but um, I'm just uh, not one to stress over it if I don't eat 100% perfect all the time. So uh, I'll get back there. I did the 30 days, 31 days raw. I can do it again. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, I've got a whole ton of bananas that have just started to ripen now. They're just going to be perfect. Um, so I'm pretty stoked about that. And um, I guess I'll keep training hard this weekend and check in with you guys next week. Take it easy.